Hey guys, Kelsey here. Today we're in Indianapolis and I'm gonna learn about fencing. Let's go check it out. What kind of things do you do during a typical practice? Well, when I get here, I start to run a couple laps. Then we'll go into the training room and stretch. Then we'll do footwork. Then after that, we'll get all our equipment on. We'll practice parries and then attacks. And then we'll just fence the rest of the night. Wow. How do you usually feel after the practices? I'm exhausted. Yeah? Yeah, a little sore. sore. How does someone get better at fencing? It takes practice and during competitions you have to really observe the fencers that you're going to be fencing with because most fencers have a pattern like one person will attack every single time or one person's better at offense and defense. So if you get those patterns you really find a way to beat them. Wow, so it requires a lot of strategic planning. Yeah, like. that's one of the things I like about it. What's your favorite part about fencing? I like traveling a lot for the competitions. When I travel, I get to meet new people from out of state that I really wouldn't meet unless I went to a competition. Yeah. Can you tell me what the equipment is and explain that a little yeah. bit? Yeah. So first you have the saber, you have the guard, and the blade, and the handle. And then I have the mask, which protects my face. And then for a competition, you should normally wear long socks, and you have to wear knickers which are long pants to protect. Then under this, for girls, you have to wear a chest protector. Uh. And then a plastron, which covers my weapon arm. Then I have a white jacket. And then you have the lame, which goes over it, and it's what conducts the signal to tell the people you got point. Oh, OK. How about I put on one of these uniforms, and you can show me some moves. OK. First thing, how about you teach me how to do some footwork? OK, so first, this is called on guard. So, I have one here down on the side, facing forward. Yeah, like okay. that. And then for a step, it would be advanced. Just go over this and then pull. And just keep your yeah. knees bent? Yeah, you want to keep your knees bent. Okay. Yeah. What's the reason for keeping your knees bent? It helps, especially with momentum. And when you lunge, it gives you power to go forward. And then retreat is just move one and just go back. Okay. Just baby steps, kind yeah. of. And then a lot of times when you attack, you want to do a lunge. So it's, yeah. Yeah, when you do it, you want to start with your arm. Like, ah. Yeah. Since saber is a cutting sport, you just want to go and just turn it. Yeah, and then cuts from the other side on person. And then if you go to the head, it's like that. So it's just a cut. And that's yeah. the attacks. And then to block it, you have parries. So you have parry three, which is more of just turning it out. But you keep your arm in the same place as in guard. And you have parry four, and then parry five. And those are the three most common parries. How about you show me how it's really done, and I watch you spar one of your teammates? OK. Cool, let's go check it out. <laughs> look in your area and maybe you can find a fencing studio near you and give it a try. And remember, activity and play are a great way to get the recommended 60 minutes of activity a day. I gotta get out of here, but until next time, stay fit.